this video is to demonstrate the microhematocrit determination protocol. This is a procedure that would typically be completed in duplicate. For the purposes of this video, we have one microhematocrit tube already prepared, and we will demonstrate the filling of the second capillary tube. To perform this procedure, you will need capillary tubes, a clay type tube sealant, a microhematocrit centrifuge, and a microhematocrit reader. You'll also need Kim wipes or gauze and a paper and pen to make notes. Draw well mixed anticoagulated blood into two microhematocrit tubes by capillary action. Avoid air bubbles. The tube should be filled about three quarters full. Wipe excess blood from the outside of the microhematocrit tube with gauze or a Kim wipe. Seal one end of each tube with a small amount of clay material at a 90 degree angle. Be sure the seal has a perfectly flat bottom. Place the filled and sealed capillary tubes into the centrifuge. The sealed ends should point toward the outside of the centrifuge. The duplicate samples should be placed opposite each other in order to balance the centrifuge. Record the position number of each specimen. Securely fasten the metal cover plate on top of the centrifuge rotor and close the centrifuge. Centrifuge for five minutes at 9,000 RPM. Allow the centrifuge to stop on its own. Do not apply pressure to the cover plate. After the centrifuge has stopped, open the lid and remove the cover plate. Promptly read the hematocrit percent using the microhematocrit reader. Place the microhematocrit reader card on a countertop. Carefully place one of the microhematocrit tubes into the tube slot on the card, using caution not to disrupt the layers of cells. Adjust the tube until the 0% line is aligned with the bottom of the packed cells in the tube. Ensure the reading card is flush with the bottom of the sliding holder. Slide the tube holder until the top of the plasma layer intersects with the 100% line. Read the percentage height of the packed red cell volume. Do not include the buffy coat layer of white cells, if present. Report to the nearest 1%. Testing is performed in duplicate and results should agree within one percentage unit of each other.